So if you go back, then you know the process of hiring. Mm -hmm. um, you've talked in an article that you wrote a while ago about the reference checks mm -hmm. being really critical. Yeah. Um, in most places, the reference check is almost a check the box kind of yeah. thing. For you, that's really the central step of the process. It's more important than the the actual interview process. And how do you go about doing it? So part of it is just spending a lot of time so that, you know, if we have to spend hours getting to people who know this person. So hopefully they've had worked for a couple different companies. Uh, maybe they went to college or business school somewhere. Mm. And so at each level, we're trying to get to someone who knows them. And ideally, some people we know or have a relationship with who know them so that the loyalty is transferred to us so we can have as objective a conversation as possible. It's never a, pre a precise process. Mm -hmm. But if I ask six people, you know, about you or someone else, I will start to see some commonalities. Mm -hmm. You know, a couple things will show up over and over. And then once I start to hear that two or three times, then you can start to dive in. I can start saying, wow. So a lot of people are mentioning that, you know, this person can have a attention to detail, but is it too much? Is mm -hmm. it, you know, and, and delve there to see. You're not trying to disqualify people. You're just trying to understand what you're getting. How do you how do you measure the followership? Because one of the critical things you mm -hmm. said was, can they attract people to come in? Yeah. So not that you can measure it, but you know, a question I would always ask is, you know, would you work for this person again? And do you think other people would follow? Mm -hmm. Are you worried that people will leave your company and go follow this person? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so you're just getting a sense. But if you just say, oh my God, this is one of the best people I've ever worked for, mm -hmm. in a way you're answering the question. Right. You know, I doubt you're going to go work for someone you think is a terrible person. Right. Uh, but you sometimes you're just saying, you know, he, he did a good job and uh, really no problems there at all. Mm -hmm. That's different than saying probably the best boss I've had out of my last five bosses or mm -hmm. one of the best bosses here. Or mm -hmm. the person I think, you know, if, if the CEO got hit by bus tomorrow, I think this person would become the CEO. That would be my vote. Now you're really saying that you generally wouldn't make that up. You can mm -hmm. say perfectly nice things about people, but you wouldn't go out of your way. And if I hear that multiple times, I know this is a winner. And so, you know, a lot of reference checks I've seen just sort of go through what did the person do on this job? What did they do yeah. on this job? You're looking much more at what, what the qualitative side. Yeah. Like how did people feel about being Absolutely. this person? Absolutely. And I also need to know what, how we staff around that person because mm. uh, no CEO has, you know, is an expert in marketing, sales, technology, HR, and finance. That's just not possible. They came right. up one route. So they're going to need other things, but I just need to get a sense, are they, you know, I have one CEO who's not as strong with numbers, so we need to have a strong numbers person as a number two. I have another one that, you know, not as strong in technology, so we just need to make sure that we get a good technology person there. Uh, sometimes they need a chief of staff because they're not, the executive functioning skills are not quite as good as you'd like. They're brilliant and creative, but don't have that. So a lot of it is just understanding. I think of it as like we're hiring a quarterback. Mm -hmm. No one in a million years thinks that quarterback can play wide receiver or, frankly, any other position on the team. Mm -hmm. But they're still extremely valuable, possibly the most valuable, but we need to surround them with everyone else. And so part of the, the, um, the reference check is to understand how to best make this person succeed mm -hmm. as, as opposed to just find, a, find out what their weaknesses yeah. are and decide yes or no. Yeah. It's, it's a much more comprehensive kind of process yeah. than that. Yeah, yeah. You know, no one's ever perfect. No one has everything. We just want to make sure we understand what we're getting. But still, the other thing is I know that our employees, other employees that we try and hire to come work for this person are also going to call around and find out, did someone like working for them? Mm -hmm. So I need to get there first and understand whether uh, that's going to go well. You know, you, you, we all know <coughs> companies that complain every, every quarter. We've had trouble hiring people. It's a competitive market. And then other companies don't have that problem. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because the CEO or the senior people are more charismatic, more persuasive, have a better track record, have real proponents 